All right, guys, we have a resolution and I'm not very happy about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Bad Luck Garage. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, I've been waiting for. I got the engine out of Project Steppenwolf, got it on a stand. We are ready to take it apart, uh, see if we can figure out what happened here. We're gonna start by pulling the heads, seeing if we see any damage to any of the pistons, and uh, if not, we will continue on to the bottom end. Well, the good news is I'm on vacation, but I'm not going anywhere for a couple days, so I'm gonna try to put out a couple videos. I wanna do this video. I also wanna do a video on the truck, uh, you know, the sale video on it to kinda let anybody that's been messaging me about buying the truck. Just kinda let you guys know uh, what all's coming with the truck. Also wanna say that from here on out, uh, any videos of anything I do to this engine, it's gonna be in the Project DR Nova playlist. I'm no longer gonna be putting anything in the uh, Turbo C10 playlist because you know, obviously, once this engine and transmission left uh, Project Steppenwolf, it was done there. So uh, there'll probably be one more video in the pro uh, in the Project Steppenwolf or in the uh, Turbo C10 playlist, and that'll be the video that I make to try to sell the truck. After that, we're on to the DR Nova playlist for now, and I've actually got another project coming soon, guys. Before I start tearing into this engine. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bad news that happened when we pulled the engine and transmission out. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is supposed to be a hump right here with a middle bolt in the top of my 4L80. I have no idea how this got cracked, but it did not get cracked today because you can see where it's pulled oil into it. So obviously it was cracked while it was on the truck. That sucks. Now, Ray's buying this engine and transmission for me to put in the Nova, and uh, he didn't seem too worried about it, but I would really like to try to find somebody local here who can weld aluminum. I know my cousin has a TIG welder, but I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, if it's capable of welding aluminum. I know John's TIG welder is not capable of it, but, uh, you know, we'll probably try to find a machine shop or, you know, just a fabrication shop or something and see what they would charge to weld that ear back on the top of the transmission. Like I said, I know it was not like that before. I've had this uh, engine and transmission out of Steppenwolf, what, well, this is the fourth time now. And, uh, you know, the other times when I put it in, that was not cracked. So I don't know if it just cracked from stress, uh, you know, the engine twisting or, or what, but, we're gonna see what we can do about that. If nothing else, you know, people are running these things with only four or five bolts in them all the time. Uh, like when you put a turbo 350 behind the LS or vice versa. So it's really not a big deal. I just don't like that it's missing. So uh, like I said, Ray's not worried about it. it this is more of a me thing. Uh, I know he's wanting that Nova to be perfect. So I don't wanna leave it like this. Without further ado, I'm going to start ripping these heads off. I'm probably going to do a sped up scene with a little bit of music. And when I find something interesting, I will just stop it and we'll go from there. got the driver's side head off and just checking everything out now right away something I'm noticing is uh, if you look back here at these two pistons which would be number five and number seven look how clean look how clean these back two pistons are 
compared to these front two pistons. That's crazy. I mean, that's like a huge difference. <laughs> like these are all, I guess it's carbon. Yeah, these are like all carboned up, up front here. And these two pistons back here are just like, well, the, you know, number seven looks brand freaking new, guys. Just something I was noticing. I did not notice anything, you know, other than the, the weirdness of, you know, these front two being nasty and the back two being clean as a whistle. Other than that, I didn't really notice anything wrong here. So, um, you can see some corrosion in the water jackets, but I didn't see any evidence of, of like a leaking head gasket over here, anything like that. So I'm going to move on to the other side. All right, we are over here on the passenger side. And while I don't see any broken ring lands on the top, let me show you guys what I do see. What I do see is, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but there are some little like indents, like scratches over here on this side. Let's see if you guys if that, that can get on camera. Do you see those? There's a couple little indents there. And you see them around the, the rim there? Yeah, like it looks like there's been, oh yeah. Yeah, and all along this edge right here, like I said, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but uh, the inside, edge of the piston there they're like little scuffs it looks like something was bouncing around in there so i don't know if i have sucked something in or if something else is going on i mean i can kind of peek past the pistons and see the ring, the top ring and it doesn't really it doesn't really look like the top ring is broken i don't know if you can tell but this cylinder has a lot of oil in it right there and we've kind of got the same thing going on on this side that we had going on, on the other side we've got this piston and this piston are like really clean and this piston and this piston are really freaking dirty so i don't know what's up with that i don't know if it's some kind of uh distribution issue or uh, or if it's got something to do with you know, maybe the link, the rings are leaking on all those. I have no clue, but it looks like in order for me to figure out what's going on, because like I said, it looks like there's been some foreign object in here, but you know, there's not like a lot of damage, just a minor scuffing on the face of the pistons. So it looks like I'm going to have to open this thing up, you know, flip it over and uh, take the oil pan off and see what's going on down there. What we well, turn the radio down. Don't want to get a copyright strike. All right. Um, well, I'll tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look through here, uh, look at all these rods, see if I have any bent rods, uh, see if I can see anything broken on the bottoms of a piston or anything and I will be right back we have a resolution and I'm not very happy about it I'm not sure if you can tell from looking at it but this rod right here is bent it kind of warps over to the side just to confirm this I spun the engine over and that piston is not coming all the way up to the edge of the bore you know the rest of the pistons well i haven't checked all of them but i've checked all but a couple 
and all the rest of them seem like they're going all the way up to the edge of the bore so yeah guys uh, as you can see these are the gen 4 rods okay so you know these are not gen 3 rods these are gen 4 rods uh this was on 12 pounds of boost and uh well i think 12 or 13 degrees of timing so it's not like i was putting a ton of timing at it i'm not sure if uh i'm thinking it was probably pre-ignition that did this maybe because it was so hot out something like that or uh well i don't know if the lean back i guess the lean back fire could have done this too but anyway it, yeah that rod is definitely bent uh, I'm gonna go through and check the other ones and you know see what I might what I might find so far that's the only one I found bent is number let's see where are we at that'd be number number four two four so yeah number number four rod is bent I have not been able to see any damage to the pistons but I will be pulling those out it's actually like two o'clock here so I won't be doing that tonight uh, it's like two o'clock in the morning and it's still super hot in this garage Whew! kind of wish i had a window ac out here i'm not sure if the bent rod is our only problem like i said i can't see any physical damage to the pistons uh from above or below but i am going to take all of them out check them out uh and probably replace them anyway because uh, one of you guys i uh, can't remember the screen name off the top of my head but one of you had actually told me that you had a whole set of almost new LS2 pistons and rods. Um, I'll be getting with you soon. <laughs> you know who you are. But I will be getting with you and trying to work out a deal for those to go in here. That way we can get some, uh, some rods in here and bump up the compression at the same time. Now as long as these LQ4 pistons are good, what I'll do is I'll just clean them up, uh, put them in a box, save them. Uh, I'll go through the rods, straight edge all the rods, whatever rods are good, I'll set those aside too. You know, that way if uh, in the future I ever bend a rod or something like that, I'll have spares. Uh, I told you in the previous video, I'm on vacation right now, just went on vacation, which I never get, <laughs> but I just went on vacation. My wife and one of the kids are in Pigeon Forge right now. I'm supposed to be up there right now. But I knew I, you know, I needed to get this done. Uh, I've not done a video in a little while. And I also, I mean, I just needed to get this done. So I have decided to stay down here for about uh, three more days, try to pump out some videos, get some work done on this. So that's the story. Wife and kids are having fun on vacation, riding go-karts, all that crazy jazz. And uh, well, I'm down here working on trucks and making videos for you guys. Before I end this video, I wanted to make a couple of announcements. For those of you who don't know, the uh, the Facebook page, the Bad Luck Garage business page is pretty much dead. We're not using it anymore. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to kill that whole page or take it down, but I wanted to let you know I have started a group page. Uh, it has a file section now, so I have started uploading tunes. You can download those for free. I've also downloaded some tuning guides from back in the day that I used to get started. Those are all in the file section on the Bad Luck Garage group page. If you haven't went over there yet, go ahead and go over there and uh, become a member. It's pretty much an open page for open ideas. Uh, I don't care what you drive, what you're working on. I don't care if it's a Ford, Chevy, <sighs> Ford. I don't care if it's a Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Honda, Mitsubishi. I don't care what it is, guys. Uh, I just wanted a page for fellow hot rodders to get together, kind of help each other out, no matter what your build is. Uh, I want to try to keep the page civil. I don't mind, you know, people poking fun at each other. I do it too. But, you know, make it in good fun, guys. I, I mean, don't, you know, no personal attacks. Don't be doing anything like that. But, you know, unless you know it's somebody that can take it. But anyway, uh, like I said, Bad Luck Garage group page on Facebook. It's there to have fun with, uh, help you guys out. If you guys want to share tunes, you can upload anything, you know, to the file section as well. So we can all just kind of share stuff together. So I'm going to get in here now, try to upload this video. Uh, <laughs> you guys probably won't be seeing it for hours now because, like I said, it's, it's about two something in the morning now. But... Anyway, I'm going to go in here and try to get this done so you guys will have this video to watch Monday and hopefully tomorrow I will get uh, a video done of the truck, walk around with the truck 
and you know come up with a price on it for you guys until then get off youtube get out in the garage and get something done and i'll see you guys next time here on bad luck garage